What's good? Now, I don't know when I'll put this on YouTube, but for the Patreons right now, if you're watching on YouTube, you're so late. But here's the news that's been going on in the industry world for a while now. Um, Drake and Jay-Z are back at it. Oh, yeah. And this is not a, a subtle thing. It's a deliberate thing. You know, um, depends on who you ask. Ask the why. You know, uh, why the situation is where it is now. It's something people on the Rock Nation side or people who are associate with Rock Nation management would assume that somebody's being very unmanly in a situation. And it's caught the attention of the big homie. And he doesn't like it one bit. Now, Drake took some shots at Megan. A couple of lines. One, emulating that, you know, making fun of her being shot. Saying, shorty, she ain't graduated. She graduated, but she ain't learned enough. I listened to her album one time, and I'm like, ugh. And people are like, what is this? What's the driving force behind this? Drake, who never has an opinion about anything. Like, Drake never really gets involved in any social justice issues. He's very Canadian when it comes to that. He's very Canadian when it comes to something that's involving this nation or to his people. He gets very alien on a lot of these subjects. But then he turns all the way around, does a what people would call a buck eighty and gets all involved when a female who has been shot he's taking digs at her now the narrative was to stay quiet on a lot of this because people were talking you know and didn't want to violate their confidence You know, they didn't want to violate their position. You know what I mean? So, not wanting to violate that position was violating that position. You feel me? Drake seems to be mad. Because he didn't get a grant, uh, Megan The Stallion got a Grammy no no nomination or whatever, or an award nomination over him in some degree for some song. And he didn't feel that she should have gotten that. And a lot of people feel that he's riding for Nicki Minaj for not getting a no notification that Rock Nation played some sort of games. And keeping Nikki out of a, an award that she should have gotten for a song, and that they're playing politics with the Grammys. So, but the ultimate reason is Drake being shunned from performing at the Super Bowl by Jay Z. Now, this is what I've heard. Jay-Z has cut Drake off 
from all a lot of different things be due to this. His reaction to this Megan Thee Stallion situation did not go unnoticed. And it was probably a big mistake on his part. Now, the performance for 2024 to feature that was supposed to be Drake. That was in the air. Having Drake do the performance for the halftime of the Super Bowl for 2024. That has been taken completely off the table by Jay-Z personally. Now, this is the information I was not supposed to, that I had to wait on, you know, to say this. Now, normally they don't make this decision until about September. They go public with an announcement. The season is still going on. But the talks was to have it happen this year. And Rihanna got it. And that kind of, you know, went a different, went the way that it did. Now, next year, they're talking about Meg the Stallion. Let's get it. Drake is going to be out of the way. And, you know... Meg was saying, basically, stop using her name for clout. Says, when is it cool about joking about women getting hit, you know, shot? You Negroes, especially rap Negroes, are lame. Y'all ready to boycott about shoes and clothes, but dog pal on a woman when she says, you know, she was shot by one of your homeboys. And... He just said, when all the facts come out, just remember y'all stood behind the dude that shot a woman. People attack me. Y'all go, y'all go up for it. I defend myself. I'm not doing too much, but every time it never ends. And this did not happen until I came out and said I got shot. Y'all don't F with me, okay. F y'all, F it, bye. You know, like, that's it. I'm not dealing with y'all. So that was her whole, you know, approach to it. Like, y'all don't deal with me. Cool. We know what, what it is now. Don't try to come do a song with me down the road. So Mark Lamont here, right? Y'all know him. He's always on television running his mouth talking. But he says, if Drake released a song with a clever wordplay that mocked the shooting of a male rapper or any man for that matter, the same people defending him would be outraged. But of course, he would never do that. And Jay-Z comes on Twitter and likes that post. Now, anybody would say, okay, well, who would like that? I mean, like, okay, so what? It's a like. Jay ain't say nothing. Jay liked that post. There's only one thing that sticks out there. Jay is not on Twitter doing anything. Y'all act like Jay on Twitter every day. No, Jay's not on Twitter like that at all. Doesn't really care for social media, period. But he went out of his way to like that. Then he went back and unliked it. <laughs> then got off of it. All together. But he wanted the like to be out there for a while before he unliked it so people could pick up on the fact that he liked that. He echoes that message. Now, they saying Drake didn't even know about the... Um, you know, halftime performance at the Super Bowl until Rihanna got it. 
Now, people are saying that Rihanna could have brought him out for a feature, but that's all out the window. That's out the door. But that was based on Rihanna not wanting to work with Drake. It had nothing to do with Jay at that time. Jay didn't even have an objection or it never was brought up. The actual song list has not even been completed yet. But from what I told, Jay-Z is supposed to come out and perform with her and be a surprise guest. But Run This Town, which featured Kanye West, is going to be played and Jay might premiere on, you know, Run This Town on that collaboration. That's going to be there and they might do hard with Jeezy. It's a lot of songs that they're talking about doing in a short period of time. Yes, all of the lights uh, run this town. Something called four or five seconds. And they have about. I think about uh, two to three more songs that she might be doing, like shorts of them and skipping from song to song. Because you, you only have a short period of time to do this. So for Rihanna to have the whole halftime performance, this should be quite interesting. I don't know, Drake might hold a grudge, but for 2024, Drake was the name that people were thinking, you know, and just in the industry circle of who should actually be the one to do the halftime performance. And they thought this year that would happen, but they ended up going with Rihanna. And now I'm hearing the person that's in the lead for next year is Meg the Stallion when I don't know if she has any other songs like anthems that's not stripper music you know but we'll see you know I don't think uh, parents want to see you know Meg and basically no clothes in the Super Bowl. Remember when Janet Jackson outfit or whatever, the mal the wardrobe malfunction, they blamed Janet Jackson for all of it. So It was terrible. But that's where we are right now, ladies and gentlemen. They are secretly beefing. And I don't know if it's a secret anymore, but this went on about when her loss came out. So I think her loss has been out for about a month now. So I've been sitting on this for about a month. I ain't really said too much about it. But it's real. To the T. It's to the point Jay-Z, because everybody kept telling me, Jay got an album coming. Jay got, I'm like, Jay ain't got no album coming. Jay, Jay had a, he's supposed to have a, some type of songs with Beyonce that they got an album coming out. He was taking shots at you know, they were kind of making fun of Rich Flex from what my source is telling me. That he was saying that he kept 21 from doing 21 or something like that. It was some wordplay like that Jay was using on a song.
he don't exploit 21 or something like that. He kept 21 from doing 21. So it's some wordplay, but apparently there's a Beyonce, Jay-Z album in the works. <coughs> we got to wait and see. Other than that, you know, thank you for your time. God bless you. Good night. I love this, Patreons. We get to sit back and chat and chill. My time, the rest of the world see it. You know, you guys will already be ahead. Now, it'd be funny if something happened while before <laughs> we do this, we have to come right back to Patreon. And for you regular YouTubers, you're welcome. <laughs>